I mean, the cameras were rolling. So you say yes. when you're just sitting around batting ideas, you think he just mis made a mistake when he said that? Yes, I, I yeah. do not believe the president wanted to throw the Constitution in the trash container. I would think not. Than a throwaway comment. Dagan. <laughs> yes. When he's thought stuff through, he's actually been uh, consistent and very serious uh, about both fighting real crime he has. and protecting yeah. honest citizens. Yeah. Take the guns first, go through due process second, yes. though. That was a quote, and he said it essentially more yes. than once. Grover, number yeah, one. Number two, he he seemed to come yeah. out against conceal carry reciprocity, which the Republicans have been in favor of, yeah. at least in the short run, to separate that from fixing yeah. the background check system and also expanding background yeah. checks at the federal level to gun shows, making a universal background check. Why do you think he did that, and do you think he'll come back around on pushing concealed carry reciprocity? Well, he made that commitment to the American people when he ran for office, and he's been very good about being consistent, saying that he's going to keep his word when he ran, when he ran for office. Uh, the argument that uh, we need reciprocity so that when you fly through New York, they can't go through your luggage and arrest you, even, you know, even if you never get off in New York, they've been going after people who have hunting and other gear in their, not in their carry-on luggage, but in their checked luggage. So it's really outrageous what has happened. Mm -hmm. We need to protect these rights for all he, citizens. And the president's made that commitment, and he will keep that commitment. But he, he was sensing. also, but he was also, again, he was for yeah. an assault weapons ban years ago. Right. He was yes. for it. I, th right. I think the president wants, day, wants to yeah. show so much that he's a moderate and wants to affect change. Okay. That that's, I, I think but, that's why he's trying so hard to come yeah. across as, look, I'm here and I'm not going to be handcuffed by any rules that were in place before. I want to look at this with a fresh eye. But, as a, yes, but as a are. member of the NRA, I want, to add, I, I want to push back on what we heard from the president because anybody who has listened to liberals over the years, Grover, they don't want to just take away semi-automatic um, sporting rifles. They want yeah. to take away semi-automatic mm. handguns in this country. Handguns commit are involved in most of your firearms deaths in this country. Yeah. That's why uh, people who are proponents of the Second Amendment and who honor it, that's why they're concerned by this. Isn't it 80 percent, Tegan? Uh, it's the, the vast majority of firearm deaths in this country are actually by suicide, yeah. and it's less than a thousand um, homicides are committed, or um, firearm homicides are committed by long guns. Let me make one quick point on this, is that we've seen this before. I mean, we're over seeing, we, I don't know about taxes, but definitely on immigration, that we've seen all of this before, where the president makes a point like this. I know it's interesting, it's, a, it's an interesting discussion to have, but I don't know how much it matters mm. in, in, a, in, a, in a forum like this yeah. because the, the, you know, the, whatever legislation is put forward, and again, that exactly yeah. what happened on immigration it was really the president that stood in the way at the end of the day on the bipartisan compromise, kind of reversing himself for the comments that he made in that meeting, and he could easily reverse himself and, on the comments and, he made yesterday. And it was Kevin McCarthy who said, wait, Mr. President, right. yeah, in, was, in that immigration. Like, I remember the meeting exactly. Like a read, yeah, he tweets and says a lot, you want to look at the results. I guess I, I'd wonder from Grover how you think this ends up. Is it just focused on keeping the mentally ill from guns? What, what comes of all this? Okay. Well, that's a very interesting question because having people who have mental health challenges that make them a danger to themselves and others, that should have been in NICS, and it was the Democrats who kept it out back in the 1990s. The National Rifle Association, the Republicans thought it was a good idea, but the other guys thought it was stigmatizing people to uh, tell this young man in Florida, you we think there's a problem with you. You don't want to hurt his feelings. That's the Democrat problem. For decades, we've lived with mm -hmm. their mistake. Both the National Rifle Association and Republicans have always been willing to change that. And the Democrats are trying to tell you to look someplace else. Let's fix that problem. And let's yeah. not have gun-free zones that make students a target because parents and administrators don't have the, the ability to carry concealed uh, in schools to make them safer. We want safer schools. The left just wants gun control. That's why the conversation is so odd. We're talking about how to make schools safe, right. and they just want to steal people's guns. And they've been at it for decades, so we kind yeah. of know where they're going. And that's the conversation right now, gun control, even though we know how many times the, yeah. the signals and the signs were there, particularly about Nicholas Cruz. Yeah. And, and it was a massive failure on the part of the FBI and the local police. Yeah.
Yes. We, we can't have you on without talking about tax reform and, <laughs> and growth, Grover. So I got to ask That's you. That's what a I assumed we were talking I'm about. I'm sorry yes. about that, Grover. But you know, we had to get into the issue yeah. of the day. Let me ask you about your thoughts on growth. Companies are reportedly buying back their stock at a quicker pace following the cut in corporate taxes. The journal okay. says that share buybacks from U.S. businesses have exceeded $200 billion in the past three months. What do you think about that? And also, look at this Atlanta Fed going from 5.4% growth. Now they're at 2.5% growth that they're expecting. We also saw a GDP number that came down from the third quarter. Now we're talking about growth of 2.5%. Has your expectation changed? of economic growth of 4% yes. in 18 and where we are right now. No, I think we're looking very, moving forward very well. Uh, the, the really good news is that companies are doing uh, stock buybacks. Why does that matter? That means the companies look and they bring a billion dollars back from overseas and they say, what's the best way I could spend a billion dollars? Buying another company, uh, starting a new line of business, or is our business so good that we want to invest in us? Now, that money doesn't disappear. They buy those stocks from somebody, and the new investor reinvests that money to his or her highest and best value. So the money doesn't disappear in a buyback. It moves between investors, and it's a company saying, we think we're the best game in town. I want to be invested in a firm whose management thinks the best thing you can do with a billion dollars is invest it in yourself because they think the future looks so good. And uh, we should note in that uh, journal story on, uh, from the news side of our paper, it did mm -hmm. note a lot of CEOs, uh, along with planning buybacks, also talking about more capital investment, Grover, which is yeah. really that's going to be the test of this tax reform, right, is higher investment because we're rewarding more investment in the United States. We're bringing more capital in from overseas and more from the United States per worker. That gives you productivity increases. That gives you higher wages. All right, so it sounds like you're still positive on this tax plan, Grover. Yeah, Good Absolutely. to see you, sir. Thank you so yeah. much, Grover Norquist there.